Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. As you may recall from 2017, there was the discovery of a large void inside the Great Pyramid, when the Scan Pyramids project used high-tech non-destructive methods such as infrared thermography and muography, measuring cosmic muons, to scan the Great Pyramid for hidden cavities and chambers. Every major news outlet across the world reported the discovery, and details of a flying robot that would explore the cavity were released soon after. Yet, in the past two years we haven't heard a thing. One Egyptologist did hit the news to explain how the muon detectors did not actually find a hidden chamber, that it was in fact a scanning artifact, and that the results can be explained in other ways. I made a video on this, which is linked below in the description. There was also a second cavity behind the Great Pyramid's entrance chevron blocks that was reported in October 2016, which I made a video on a number of months ago. Yet, we have been in the dark for three years, ever since its discovery. Well, the Scan Pyramids project is back, and has just released a new short video also linked below, which announces that the hidden chambers or voids are now confirmed with new tests. The team have been conducting more scans inside the pyramid, collecting muons from different locations including inside the relieving chambers above the King's Chamber. And regarding the large void, the team said, The big void was again observed from these new measuring points, confirming and refining the results that were published in 2017. The cavity is just above the Grand Gallery, between 10 and 15 metres above. Its minimum length, estimated initially at 30 metres, has been re-evaluated to 40 metres minimum, probably in one single section. However, the mission scientists continue to debate about the slope. As reported on DailyGrail.com, the six-minute video from the Scan Pyramids project also discusses the second smaller cavity behind the entrance of the pyramid, which the team now know is a corridor behind the large chevron blocks. This corridor, like the Big Void, is very much there and has also been confirmed with the latest tests. The scientists calculated that it was 1 in 3.5 million that these findings are by chance. The corridor is horizontal or sloping upwards between 17 and 23 metres above ground level, and is at least 5 metres long. Recently, a friend of the channel, NEXT, posted a picture on Twitter of the muon detectors inside the Great Pyramid, so it was clear that the Scan Pyramid studies were ongoing. And thankfully, they have confirmed that there are certainly two cavities inside the Great Pyramid, and possibly more. Next year, in 2020, the team will continue to scan the interior of the Great Pyramid, trying to trace the full extent of the entrance corridor behind the chevrons, a corridor that was long predicted by Jean-Pierre Houdin. The tests in 2020 may finally allow for minimal invasive methods so we can finally peer into a corridor that nobody has seen inside for thousands and thousands of years. Today I have been in London, visiting the Sir John Soane Museum to take a closer look at the enigmatic sarcophagus of Seti I, the famous pharaoh of the 19th dynasty. I've recorded some footage, and I'll be turning this into a video to post soon. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.